Hi, this is Sandra Henry Stalker, author of the Unix as a Second Language blog on Network World. In this Linux tip, we're going to look at the hostname CTL command. It's a command that provides information on a particular system, including but not limited to its hostname, and even allows you to make some changes. So let's take a look at the hostname CTL command. It should provide a report that looks something like this one. As you can see, the output includes the hostname, chassis type, the OS, the kernel version, and the system architecture. It also includes a couple long strings that probably mean very little to you, the machine and boot IDs. The machine ID is set up whenever the system is installed. The boot ID is set whenever the system boots. You can change the hostname using the hostname CTL command, though you have to be set up with root privileges and supply your password. You would do that with a command like this. Notice that we have to select our identity and then enter our password. You can also use the hostname CTL command to add a field describing the system's deployment, for example, development or production, or one that describes the system's location. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, we have to select our identity and enter our password. And here we're going to change the location to a basement. Again, select our identity and enter our password. Now, if we want to see those changes that have been made, just run the hostname CTL command again, and you can see the new name, the um, development as the deployment, and basement as the location. If you want to remove any of these fields that we've just added, you can do it by running the same command that we used to add it, but by putting the, instead of the string there, just put an empty string. And again, we have to authenticate ourselves. And then we can run the hostname command again, the hostname CTL command, and see that those fields are now gone. Well, that's your Linux tip for today. If you like this video, please hit the like and share buttons. For more Linux tips, be sure to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and NetworkWorld.com.